Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Diego, I'm a medical student here in London and today I've got good news, excellent news that I'm going to be sharing with you guys, so a quick little life update. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it, okay? So not too long ago, I actually received my results back from university um, basically, I'm on the Graduate Entry Medical Programme here in London and what that means is that the two years, basically we do one year of uh, medicine which combines two years of your standard undergraduate degree. Um, because of the sort of intensity of it and the fact that you sort of have to shorten or you've got to cover more within a sort of shorter period of time, it means that it's really intense and obviously the stakes are quite high because if you fail as it is with any exam obviously you've got to repeat it um, so the term sort of to give you some context it started last august or august 2022 and it ran just up until pretty much the week before uh, july so up until the last week of june um, so it was quite intense there was a lot of stuff to cover to cover and yeah so just sort of to like give some context as i was saying i think you know the um uh, things that sort of was quite challenging was obviously the amount of information um, that the course sort of had um, and also just sort of that the nature of it being so high stakes obviously you know you want to pass you want to do well and it just feels like there's a lot of stuff I feel like one of the good things throughout the year was that um, like I've enjoyed the year so even though when it was hard and it was quite tiresome because I was actually engaged with the material and I was actually enjoying it I felt like that allowed me to push through at certain points um, even though I had a bit of a rocky start so we had some formatives in uh, December and they actually didn't go well so going into the summative exams obviously I was quite um, you know, kind of worried um, but I knew I could fix those things because I knew that going into the formative there were still things I was still trying to get my head around, concepts that were still pretty new because I was coming back from basically not being in scientific, like learning scientific content for quite a while. Um, I was working in accountancy, those of you who followed my uh, channel you know I was working in tax for so many years and so I'd just forgotten so much stuff from my undergrad. So I think it took me like the first good semester to just understand some things, get my head around it, remember all th so remember some stuff as well and also figure out how I wanted to study as well because that's another thing that I will be making some videos on because I think that's quite important. Um, regardless once the results came in January I sort of knew I was like okay I need to improve this and this because um, if not it just won't be enough right for me to pass and uh, do well in the summatives. So I did do that, I literally banged out my Anki cards literally probably every day. Um, I did have some days where I'd stop, um, but generally every day, every day I was not taking. Towards the second semester I took an approach of not going to that many lectures, if at all, but just doing them from home. And I think going into this new year I might do a mixture of the two, there's still some things that I want to change anyway that I think will probably be worth adjusting to um, just make sure I do better uh, you know in this in this upcoming year so anyway to not bore you with the whole things basically we had our exams in June um, we started with the written papers my bad sorry uh, we started with the written papers so we had like a humanities type paper which combines like uh, psychology, medical law, ethics and a bit of stats. Um, we did that, that was about three hours. Then we had our written papers for uh, the science aspect. So again, that literally covers from August 2022 all the way up until September or June, end of June 2023. So there's a lot of stuff, you know, I was literally going crazy trying to remember if I'd covered something, if I hadn't. So I'm definitely going to be better at organising my notes this year. Um, we did those two exams, so that was split into the uh, scientific paper. 
And then the following week we had the, um, what you call it, the Oscars. So I split over two days, 10 stations. So that was pretty good as well. Um, it was quite intense and I was quite nervous. Like I said, it was just high stakes. But thankfully, uh, results came out and actually passed. So passed all of the papers, that, which means that I passed first year of graduate entry medicine. And what happens is that I'll technically be jumping to second year of the graduate entry medicine program. But at my uni, because they join us with the undergraduates and some students who are sort of um, transferring on from a biomed program, what happens is that I'll actually jump to third year of medicine or the standard undergrad program, and then I'll basically join that cohort. So then I have year three, four, and five, and then I'm done. So I'm pretty much halfway through, sort of starting the, the halfway point of the course, which is crazy, it's pretty surreal. So, yeah, I've got a couple of video ideas I'm going to be uh, shooting re in the sort of upcoming future and hopefully I'll be uploading them. If you've got any particular uh, requests or ideas, let me know in the comment section. But I've got a good uh, number of ideas. And yeah, that's the good news. I passed, which is crazy. It feels like for some reason... I've been having to retake exams for so long, like consistently in the past, like whatever years. Uh, that actually feels good to like finally say, okay, that's it. I did all of them in one go. So yeah, good times. And that's about it, guys. I appreciate you uh, joining me on this journey. It's been a long one. And also what for watching this video. Appreciate your time. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and all of that stuff, okay? So until next time, see you. Stay go. Bye-bye.